Today we're going to look at improving uh, how good this HD Zero goggle works for use uh, with FPV simulators on your computer. So the standard modes that it supports, 720p60 and 1080p60, um, they don't quite work as smoothly as I'd like, but we can actually put in some custom resolutions in NVIDIA control panel and enable 100 FPS modes on this. And in my opinion, it makes it way better and uh, I'm really enjoying actually doing simulators with these where usually I'm not really much of a sim guy. So with that said, let's get into it. I'll do a little tutorial and show you some demo footage of how this works. So to do this, go on the desktop and open up NVIDIA control panel. Now you can do this on Intel and on AMD, but I'm not going to cover that today. It's a similar process for those two. Once we get in, we're going to change resolution and then go to ITE HDMI. That is the goggle. Um, that's how it reports to Windows. Now, I've already gone and added a few custom resolutions. So what I'm going to do now is just um, what you, you would have here is you'd have like this 1080p um, 1920 by 1080. Uh, let me apply that. And that's probably all you're going to be entering into this. Okay, and then once you've got that applied, you can do customize, and then you can do create custom resolution. And we cannot run faster than 60 FPS at uh, 1920 by 1080. Actually, you might find, um, I haven't done a lot of testing with this, but you might find that 1920 by 1080 at 50 hertz runs better than 60 hertz on this particular goggle at this particular time with this firmware. Um, so if you wanted to create a 50 hertz, Custom resolution, you would type in 50 here for the refresh rate and then and then test it. So let's uh, do that. I've already actually created that one. And now I'm testing and looking at my goggle. And sure enough, yep, I do see that I've got a 1080 view inside the goggle when I do that. Um, next one we're going to do here, uh, I'm going to show you how I add 1280 by 720 at 100 FPS. And then we'll test that. And I have already created that one too, but let's do this now. And that is working. Now the one that I really like to run, because I run 4x3 when I'm racing, is uh, 960 by 720 at 100 FPS. So let's test that out. And I'll actually have to like switch modes and stuff to get that to work um, because I'm currently not editing the correct one. So if I want to see that one, I'll have to go to 960 by 720, edit that. Here's my 960, 720, 100 FPS, test, say OK. Um, let's see, let's close this out and I'll just click here. Here's my 100 hertz mode that I added and now here we go now it's applying and yes I can see it's uh, in a 4 by 3 aspect ratio so I'm going to keep that so this is trip FPV um, it's a pretty fun freestyle simulator recommended by uh, Evan Turner and uh, yeah I like it it doesn't have the best physics uh, but it has awesome graphics and it's a lot of fun to fly. So that's what I use it for. No one uh, thing can do it all, I guess. So we'll take a look at um, how Velocidrone flies and what settings I use with that right after this. But I'm just having fun going through here. And it feels great. The uh, 720p 100 FPS has all of the uh, image resolution I think I'd need. And it's a little bit easier on my uh, GPU too. Um, definitely not a freestyle guy though. So someone else can tell me what they think. But I'm having fun.
Okay, so what we want to do now in Velocidrone is just verify that we're running at the custom resolution that we made. Let's go to screen settings. And there it is, 960 by 720 at 100 hertz. And uh, yeah, then you can probably look at a few of the settings I've got set here. Um, basically, I've got everything maxed out because I've got a 3080. So the most important setting I would set in here is actually to go to quad settings and then uh, go down to this true lens option, which creates an accurate field of view, um, and then do the standard 2.1 millimeter lens. I found that that really, really makes this thing feel real to me. So we'll go to load up the track here. So uh, right now I'm evaluating the different tracks that we have uh, for the contest for the global qualifier. So let's load up AK's track here. Never said I was the fastest, but uh, yeah, running these settings definitely makes this feel more realistic to me, which is important because I've always found. Oop. Try to talk and do a GQ at the same time. I've always found it hard to really get into sims because they don't feel real. Um, and a, a large part of that for me was not uh, having the screen and the lens and everything feeling like I have in real life. So now, yeah, I can do this for uh, a long time and I can be pretty comfortable doing it where before I, I could only do it for a short time. Now one thing we can do to check our performance um, is we can hit F12 and then just check your uh, min and your max FPS. What we want to do is see that obviously being above 100 at all times. So I've actually had mine running at uh, more like 500 FPS typically. Um, I think I've turned on a few bells and whistles I probably shouldn't have, but um, as long as I'm over 100, I'm doing good. Oops. Yeah, to me, this this true lens thing at the you know the 2.1 millimeter lens really feels the most realistic I've ever seen in the sim. That was pretty good. 56 seconds. Now, let's see. Uh, you can page up, page down to change the camera angle, and I think it's uh, left and right square bracket to change your lens. So there's the micro 2.1 versus the 2.1 um, on the small side. And then that's the one I pick. The other thing I change is uh, quad settings and I up the drag on the front and the top a little bit. Um, let's see what else do I change. I up the quad weight, I, turn, I, you know, I increase the weight because I feel like when I'm flinging this thing around the track, um, I'm, I personally fly, you know, kind of counting for the momentum. Uh, carrying through the corner and I find it's not quite right unless I increase the weight. Um, and then the other thing I do is I do up this battery mass effect quite a bit uh, to 67%. don't know if these are the best things to do, but that's what I've done and makes it feel a lot more real to me. All right, let's take a look at our settings. Uh, I've got uh, obviously 720p. Um, I'm running in borderless mode. Um, I had to use windowed mode to get it into uh, this correct monitor, and then I switched switch it to borderless mode. Um, 125 FPS cap, uh, turn off V-Sync, uh, no motion blur because that's stupid. And yeah, I got a bunch of stuff cranked. So, and then what do we have for 
like the field of view, I've got that set to about 115 degrees, 15 degree camera angle. So looks pretty good. Let's see, uh, show hide FPS, let's see that. Let's see what we're getting. Let's see if we're getting the real thing. 125, okay. That's what we like to see. Yeah, as long as we're getting a nice, smooth, consistent high FPS, we're doing good. All about the frames. For me, really helps with uh, immersiveness. And just like how connected it feels. I'm not uh, some kind of an FPV god, I need every frame I can get. <laughs> I suck. But you know what? I bet a lot of you do too, and that's fine. <laughs> This feels great though. Really prefer running a, a PV simulator on an actual goggle. Yeah. Alright, enough of that. <laughs> 